Hello everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Zena. I am a certified esthetician and nail technician in Saskatchewan, Canada. So what I have for you today is a haul. And this haul is a little bit different. I've done one a little bit similar in the past and it was with AliExpress items. But today what I have for you is a whole punt a whole bunch of items from the website Wish. So what Wish is, it's a website where you can find pretty much everything under the sun on it. There is a ton of different categories, a little bit of everything. And what I ordered were a bunch of kind of more nail art items. I personally, as a certified nail tech, I would not recommend purchasing actual gel or acrylic products from Wish. However, personally, I have nothing wrong with purchasing nail art items. That's my personal opinion. I know some people don't like purchasing from non-certified wholesalers, but for nail art, I don't have a problem with that. So what Wish is, it is, I believe most of the products come from Asia in that area. There are some that I've received from like the US and stuff like that as well. So it's kind of has vendors from all over kind of the world on it from my experience. Typically it takes a long time to receive. So if you're ordering something, expect it to take a while to get to you. And they are very cheap, so you get what you pay for. You can't expect a whole lot when you're paying a couple cents for something or a couple dollars for something. So just keep that in the back of your mind. But let's jump into this haul and I have opened everything up, but I haven't necessarily used everything that I've gotten yet. I wanted to share those with you. So I opened them just to make sure that they are, they were my nail art stuff and not other stuff that I have ordered. Let's jump in, let's take a look. I will try to post how much everything was on the side somewhere, um, just for kind of reference sake. And I will, I'm not gonna guarantee you I'll post the links. If I can find the links, I will post them. Another thing with Wish is you can't always find the same thing twice. Sometimes there's a whole bunch of different vendors that sell the same object, and sometimes you can't find it again once you have seen it once, so it's kind of, you better get it when you can, or it might not be there again, so. It's an interesting website. I enjoy it personally. I kind of have fun finding the bargains and the good stuff on it. But let's jump in, let's get started, and check out what I purchased from Wish. Okay, so the first thing I purchased were these nail wipes. I believe there is 300 in here, but I am not sure. And if you can read this, let me know what it says down in the comments below. But I certainly cannot read Chinese or Japanese or whatever language this is. But these are nail wipes, so let's open them up and take a look at what they look like. Okay, so these are what the nail wipes look like. They are definitely not lint free. There is definitely lint in them. You can see all the little fibers in there. But they are, feel very soft. They are very thin. So I think these will work really well for nail polish remover. I can't imagine they'll hold liquid very well, but I think they'll be great for removing nail polish or stamping or things like that. So that is what I plan on using them for. Alright, so up next we have this super, super holographic foil. So you can see it's kind of a tropical, oh this is really hard to show you, but it's kind of a tropical pattern. So it has your tropical leaves and you can see right here there's a little toucan, some flamingos and leaves and little hibiscus flowers, super super pretty and this is just a transfer foil. Okay, this I was not expecting actually. So it is a whole bunch of different transfer foils and they just come in a sheet. They are all very silver with the holographic. So there's this one that is kind of roses and flowers and leaves. There is this Christmas one that has Christmas trees and snowflakes and swirls. There's this one that is kind of more like dream catchers. These would be so fun. I had no idea this was what I was ordering. 
Then there's this more kind of geographic one, kind of more abstract, which I really struggle painting this kind of design, so this is super cool. Kind of water marble, holographic water marble, fake water marble, I don't know, but it's cool. There's this one that just has a whole bunch of different patterns, so there's some zebra, some kind of square, some more like a microchip type of thing. Okay, this one is adorable. It is little unicorns and rainbows. Look at how cute those are. Little unicorn heads and full bodies. So fun. Okay, and this is what I thought they all were, but turns out it's just this sheet. But this is the little tropical one with the toucan and flamingos and the leaves. See some watermelon pineapples. So these were definitely not what I was expecting. I was expecting to just get the one sheet, but that's super cool. I'm going to do a little demo on these to see if they actually transfer. So let's use this um, kind of tropical one and see if it will actually transfer the image. Alright, so I have just painted this swatch stick with some black nail polish. And then I'm just going to go in and apply some foil glue. So this I get from a distributor that's local to me, however I know you can find the foil glue on probably Wish as well or eBay or wherever as well. So I'm just going to put a coat of this over top of the black. So the nice thing with foil glue is you can tell when it's ready to apply the foil. So it goes on kind of milky, almost iridescent like this, and you want to apply it once it's dry and it dries clear. So once you don't see this kind of blue tinge anymore, that means it's ready to apply the foils. So I'm just going to wait and let that dry. Okay, so that glue has completely dried. It's back to being black. So I am going to take the foil, and I think I'm just going to use this top leaf right here and just see if it transfers. So with transfer foils, you want to apply um, the image side up. So I will put it over top like this. And you just want to press down and kind of smooth it out. And then lift up and it transfers perfectly. Oh, these are so fun. I cannot wait to use these on my clients. And then I would just go over with a top coat. Okay, so up next I just purchased some clear swatch sticks. These are nothing special. I go through swatch sticks like crazy with my colors or doing demos or things like that. So I always like having some backup swatch sticks in my drawer. I don't find a difference between buying them from somewhere online like Wish or from a wholesale supply store. They're all the same in my opinion. Okay, so this is the next package I received, and it is a whole bunch of glittery striping tape. So I do have another video about my tips and tricks tips and tricks for striping tape. So I will link that up in the corner up here. So be sure to go check that out if you struggle with striping tape. It has been a lifesaver life saver using those tips. So these are just a whole bunch of different, I think they're all the same sizes, but they're a little bit thicker than what my regular striping tape is. So we have a gold, some purples, pinks, green, red, orange, a rainbow silver, rose gold, a more yellow gold, um, a black glitter, that one's kind of cool, and then a, a couple of blue ones. So okay, so the next thing I purchased were these dried flowers. So these are actual real dried flowers. They have been dyed whatever color they want, but they do still have this stem on them as you can see, and they are very fragile. So when working with these, just try not to move them around as much as you would like. You kind of just have to set them down and kind of press them down. I put them into a wet gel layer and then I press them down and cure them and then lightly float over more gel over top of them not to disrupt the petals too much. So I have used these two up here bef already so I will post the set of nails that I did using them. They worked really really good. The only thing that I'm upset about with this wheel is you only get three of each color. So I wish there were at least four, but more would be even better. But I will repurchase another one of these wheels just to have because they are really, really fun and they add a very realistic look to the nails. 
Okay, up next, actually one of my clients purchased this for me. It's off Wish though, and it is Chrome Flakies. So this one is a dual chrome, so it goes from a dark blue to a nice purple color. You can kind of see that color shift in there. So it is little flakies. So it's little flakies like this, and you can either, with a tack-free top coat, you would cure it for a little bit of time. I usually find about 20 seconds is what I use. And then you can rub it in just like this. I mean, I don't have a top coat on, so it's not going to work properly, but you would just rub it in and it makes kind of a chrome, or you can just kind of place it in like that, and it just kind of gives you chrome flakies on the nail. I will do a demo with this to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have a swatch stick painted half black, half white, just to show you how it looks over a dark color and a light color. And then I'm just going to take Ineo Couture's shiny top coat. This is a no white top coat. I'm going to apply it to the swatch stick and cure it for 20 seconds in my UV light. Okay, so that top coat has cured for 20 seconds. Um, you will just have to play around in your light to find how long to cure works best for you. I find in my light about 20 to 30 seconds is what works best. And then I'm just taking the kind of eyeshadow applicator that comes with it, dipping it into the chrome flakies, and it will pick some of them up, maybe. And then I'm just going to rub that into that tack-free top coat. So personally, I find that this chrome does not look very good over light colors, but over dark colors, it is absolutely stunning. Okay, so you can see over the what was the white, it's very kind of splotchy and patchy, but over the black, it is absolutely stunning. So you can kind of see that blue, um, you can mostly see blue, but over here you can kind of see the purple color shift. It definitely is not a smooth chrome, but I find when you have the flakies, you never do get a smooth chrome. If you get the powders, then you get a smoother chrome. Okay, so I'm sticking with the kind of chrome powders. So this one is a super stunning. I've worn this one on my nails already, and I've put it on a couple clients. It is gorgeous. But this is just kind of a pearl finish chrome. So what it does, it gives the nail a little bit of a purple sheen almost. It definitely doesn't really change the color that much, depending on what you put it over. I've um, put it over a color kind of similar to this kind of pinky color, and it just kind of gave a really pretty, when it hit the light, it gave a little purple kind of overcast. But it is super pretty, so let's demo this one as well. So again, I have my half black, half white, and I'm going in with my shining top coat and curing for 20 seconds again. Okay, now that that's cured, I'm going in with the sponge applicator that came with it, dipping it into the powder, and then again just rubbing it on top. And you can see that purple sheen that it gives. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love the effect that this powder gives to the nails. So you can see over that white, it just kind of, when it hits that light, it just kind of reflects a little bit of purple. And then over the black, the same thing. But it does give a, a purple tinge to the black at all times, but mostly when it hits that light, it gives that purple reflection which I think is so, so pretty. You can put this over any color and it would just give that little bit of purple reflection. Okay, so these little sticks are the next thing that I purchased and they came in a set of three like this and they are fairly decently heavy. They seem to be good quality in my opinion. So they all have this little gem at the top and there's this dark pink, a light pink, and a clear to kind of distinguish what the different tools are. So this dark pink one is just a, almost like a little needle. It's just a sharp little point that if you had an air bubble or something in your gel, you could just kind of poke it and get rid of it like that. Or this would work good if you are doing a swirl marble design. It has a nice small tip on it that you could swirl your gel around nicely with. The clear tipped one is a little scoop. 
So this would work really well for if you're doing a sugar nail. So you would do your design in a wet gel and then pick up a really fine glitter or powder and you could pick it up with a scoop and then just kind of tap it over the design. And then the third one is the light pink gem and it is just a flat spatula type thing so I already have one of these in my collection and they work really good for stirring your gels up sometimes they separate or if you are mixing colors they work really well to kind of mix the colors in nicely I also purchased this set of three brushes they are really fine little striper brushes so as you can see, they are very fine stripers. So you have a small striper, a long striper, and then a medium striper. So this is the type of brush that I would do most of my nail art with. I really like the small ones. Personally, I never use the bigger ones at all, but I also don't have good ones that I like. So these ones look to be very fine, so I will give them a try and see how I like them. So I just want to compare this small one to the art brush that I currently use because this was the one that I would likely get the most use out of. So the art brush I use right now all the time is the Crystal Nails Zero Short. I have featured this brush in multiple videos, but it is my favorite because the head on it is so tiny. I have not cut this whatsoever. This is how it comes. So you really can't compare the two brushes at all. As you see, the Crystal Nails one is on the left side, and then the one I purchased from Wish is on the right. So the Crystal Nail one is way, way, way thinner than the one from Wish. But I'll give the one from Wish a go and see how I like it. Okay, so this is the next thing that I purchased from Wish, and it looks kind of just like a little egg. But what it is, is a little mini portable LED light nail lamp. So it has a charging cord. Unfortunately, it didn't come with the cord, which is a little disheartening in my opinion. However, I do believe I have a cord like this, so I will go find it and we will see if I can get it to turn on and see if it actually works. But if you just plug a cord in and then plug it into a USB or something. And then up at the top, you can see it has three little LED lights. And then this is just a little silicone pad and it's a little button so you have to push it and then the light should turn on once it is plugged in. So I will go find the cord and we will test this out. Okay so I have the cord plugged into the back and then just plugged into a power supply. So let's push it and see if it works. Oh there we go. Alright, so it does work and it does actually stay on. So I just push the button and the light is staying on. We will see how long it stays on for. And I'm going to do a swatch stick with a gel that is UV LED curable. And we'll see if this actually is powerful enough to cure gel. So I've just applied a thin layer of Fusions Promenade, which is a UV LED curable gel to the swatch stick and I'm going to press the button and leave that on for however long until it cures or until the light turns off which I think is 60 seconds and we will see if the gel's cured by the end of it. Alright the light just turned off and I lied it uh, seems to be a 30 second timer on here and it looks like it actually cured I cannot, there's a dispersion layer on here, but I, the gel itself is, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's hard and not wiping off. I am impressed. The only downside with this is you can't do long nails because obviously it's just a little thing, but for my length of nails, if I had a UV, or pardon me, an LED curable gel, and I was away somewhere and I broke one, you can easily fix it with this because it actually works. So I am super impressed with this little gadget. Kind of annoying that you need the cord, but it's totally portable and seems to work just fine. Okay, so this is the last product that I purchased and actually the same client that purchased or that gave me the dual chrome. She also purchased this one for me after I told her that I was wanting a little kind of pen type stamp. 
just to try out. I thought it would be cute, especially to do just little designs. So this end is a little stamper, so it's like a little silicone head. And then this one is just a big sponge, so these ones work good for ombres or chromes or things like that. So it is a dual wand, and then in the center it just has some pretty crystals. And then this one actually came with, with this little plate. So this is just a flimsy plastic plate that has a design um, kind of engraved into it. So it's some swirls and some butterflies. So I will try out this plate and see if it works. Personally, I do not think it is engraved deep enough to work. And if it doesn't work, I will use one of my actual stamping plates to test out this stamper for you. Okay, so I just have a Kleenex under here just so I don't get my paper all dirty. And I'm just going to apply some black stamping polish. Give it a swipe. Yeah, I do not think this is going to work. And, oh, maybe it will. Alright, I am pleasantly surprised by that. So you can see that actually that plate actually did pick up the image. I am very surprised because looking at it, it does not look like it would have worked. But it actually did work, so you can do like a cute little pattern with that on this plate. I am surprised. Damping head on this picked up really nicely as you can see, no complaints, it's just a nice little stamping head. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little wish haul. Would you personally have picked up any of these items that I picked up? Which one was your favorite? Just leave me a comment down below. Or have you purchased any other products off of Wish that you enjoyed and liked? I would love to hear feedback. Let me know if you want to see more of these kind of cheaper nail art hauls. I am more than happy to do them. I'm kind of a nail art junkie. But be sure to stay tuned for my next video. Until then, see you all later. Bye for now.